feels good to be able to take the full cab to the mountain bike and not feel like I'm gonna bend the wheels in half. I finally got it back together. I got some new cranks, profile column cranks, 22 millimeter, and then direct mount sprocket, 28 tooth, and a shadow, uh, shadow chain here, the nice half link. The reason why I went with the half link chain is because it's gonna be strong and I figure if I hit the sprocket on something, and I have this super strong chain, it's gonna protect the sprocket kind of like a chain guard. But this is my new Commensal Absolute. I uh, took the brakes off there. Sometimes that just helps me with committing to stuff. It's a size large, which is a definite departure from what I'm used to. It's got a 24 inch long top tube, super long but I'm 6'3", so it fits awesome. It has a bottom bracket drop, a 24 millimeter bottom bracket drop. I'm used to actually a bottom bracket rise. So super long, 69 degrees here, a little slack, and a drop versus the rise I've been riding. And it feels really nice, to be honest. Um, I didn't think I could be able to do tricks on a bike like this uh, before so I kept going shorter and higher and shorter and higher and it got to the point that I felt uncomfortable and so I decided to uh, trade my other bike in uh, which was an NS Majesty Park um, and get this thing and with my height and my age it feels just like I got a lot of room to breathe I don't feel uncomfortable and the only thing that I'm gonna have to work on now is relearning foot jams with this reverse arch here but I think that'll that'll be just fine but yeah so far these cranks feel amazing these eclat or eclat 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 I don't know these pedals um, I forget which ones they are but they go all the way up to the, the crank arm so it, they feel real nice big platform and you can hug that crank arm so I'm hoping to uh, relearn bar spins again. It seems like I learn them for a couple months and then I lose them. And then I'm afraid to throw them. So I don't do them for six months to a year and then I have to relearn them every year a couple of times. But I'm hoping that the amount of, uh, the length here that that should work. The nice thing about this, this frame here is that, sorry about the wind, but uh, bring, bring it down here, Billy. When I would do bar spins before, it always used to hit my foot, right? But this long bike, I have a ton of clearance. So I'm hoping it feels more comfortable. Like I don't have to worry about hitting my foot with this bike. So I'm pretty excited about that. All right, let me try a couple more of those full caps, see if I get a cleaner one. It's getting a little bit windier and uh, I'm getting done trying this <laughs> but uh, I think I got pretty close and mostly got it it'll just get smoother and better with practice um, excited to be able to do it on this mountain bike just feels so nice now I'm glad I got to learn it on the BMX first saved me a lot of money in mountain bike parts but uh, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and my bike check on this Mensal Absolute. Thanks for watching.